Don't wait for desire. Laura, that's your line and it's brilliant. Yeah. And you know, if, if you wait for desire, you may never have sex, um, especially as we get older. <laughs> We need arousal. Arousal is the key. And and once we're aroused, then desire follows. What is arousal? Arousal is blood flow. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. Orgasm is about getting blood to our genitals mm -hmm. and filling up that erectile tissue because inside our internal clitoris, we have as much as a penis, as much erectile tissue as a penis with 8,000 nerve endings, the cherry on top. You literally have the most sophisticated sex organ on the planet, capable of endless pleasure, mm -hmm. but we don't touch her. Right. And, and touch is how we increase blood flow. You know, whether it's touch with your hands, touch with a vibrator, that is what increases blood flow. It takes us longer to get an erection than a penis. Um, we need more blood flow. <laughs> so that means that we have got to be touching our vulvas more and make that connection. First, that connection, even if you don't want to become aroused, having a connection with your vulva is so important. I touch my vulva every day. When do you touch your vulva? Because I do mine in the shower. I soap up my hands, I squat, and I just touch everything. Mm -hmm. I usually do it in the evening when I'm watching TV. You know, I love that. I'll just like lift up my skirt, you know, or I'll have a blanket and just touch. And it's not because I want to have an orgasm. It's just about making that connection. And my vulva feels nice. I like the pubic hair. You know, it's just, it's comforting to just even put a hand and hug my vulva. It's grounding. Yes. And I feel vulvas, they're like velvet. Yes. They're so supple. And then the inner and outer labia, everything is soft. Everything is smooth. It's like satin, mm -hmm. you know, and then it lubricates. It's quite remarkable. Yes. And it's for me, I just calm down. If I'm, you know, feel like I'm idling high, <laughs> I just touch my vulva, take a breath and it all comes down. Right. Right. Little kids, you'll see them touch their genitals. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, we need that. We need to have that connection. Um, and it feels good. You know, I feel pleasure as I'm touching my genitals. If I kept it going, it would turn into arousal. And if you keep that going on a regular basis, it becomes desire. So if we want desire in our lives, the first step is touching our vulvas on a regular basis and creating blood flow. That's like so simple, right? It's not hard. It doesn't cost us any money. And I, I'm going to rip another one of your lines, Laura, where you said desire happens at the end. Yes, yes, absolutely. You know, we think we wait for the thought. Um, we wait to have that motivation, but it's actually arousal that gives us the motivation. Um, so Definitely. Don't, don't wait for desire. If, if you start touching yourself on a regular basis, if you become aroused on a regular basis, you're going to find your desire increasing. I also love too, when you look at your vulva in a mirror while you're touching wow. yourself, because you can see the arousal happening. This is physical. Arousal is physical. Exactly. And there are no inactive orgasms. Mm -hmm. It's an active moment. It's an experience. So when you're looking at that mirror, as you start to touch, I see this with clients all the time, all of a sudden the clitoris pops out a little bit more, all of a sudden the color deepens. So if it's a pink, it becomes more of a crimson <laughs> pink, almost red. And to see that, to see how powerful it is. And it really only takes a few minutes, two to three minutes. Yeah. And instantly everything starts to puff out a little. It's puffing out because there's no more blood flow. Yeah. Right? And the bulbs of the clitoris are filling up with blood, that erectile tissue. And that's when all of a sudden you start to feel like, wow, I, I, I want to keep on going. Right. Exactly. So don't wait. Focus on arousal. Do things to support your arousal. And you'll find that you have more desire. Hug your vulva every day. If you can't touch her and do a full massage... Just take your two hands, place them all over your vulva, hug her, close your eyes, take a breath. 
and feel gratitude. Yes. And I have a pussy right behind me that wants. <laughs> I know I saw you. I know. Oh, I love it. <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Stroke your vulva. Stroke your pussy. 